and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all just saw, I got in the most exciting new palette right now. Y'all should know, maybe you don't know, I don't know if I've ever said it. Manny MUA is like one of my favorite YouTubers. He is bae. I love him. He is so adorable and just perfect. I don't know. I love him. So when I heard that my darling Manny had a palette coming out, ah, I couldn't. But before we get into that, we're going to play the intro. Yes, I'm a fangirl, and yes, I ordered Manny's palette, basically as soon as it released. No, it's not in PR. <laughs> Y'all should be able to tell looking at my channel, I ain't that fancy yet. And also looking at these lashes, I'm apologizing now. This is my last pair that's already cut down, and I put them on with my last, like, two drops of glue and realized these babies have lived their life and uh yeah this will be their last appearance and i have some new ones coming in thank god but i got my package yesterday didn't even realize it yes i'm recording this sunday morning and uploading it sunday afternoon so i went outside this morning and i saw my box plain black box why did it have to trick me on the inside it says lunar beauty and you've got this pretty paper and then you have the ad campaign with all these gorgeous gorgeous people all the info right here and then you've got this beautiful rose gold unicarton says life's a drag which is the name of the palette with all this info back here uh, cruelty free all that cool stuff and this is a color palette which I did not know that was what you call these but it makes sense now I don't care what anybody says I love the concept of this palette <clears throat> so you've got the front it just says or well this is the back sorry guys the back says lunar beauty it's got more info and then on the front you've got Manny's eyes oh my god and some gorgeous drag makeup you open it up, you've got your mirror that says be a queen, and then your 14 colors. You get your black and your white, which can be used to mix with anything else. Two shimmers, six brights, four neutrals. You can do anything. So, I've never done a drag-ish look on here. Oh, and you get a brush, which is actually pretty good, surprisingly. I've never done a drag-ish look on here before, but I figured <laughs> what better time to try it than today. It has been a long, long time since I've played in drag makeup back in the day. A lot of my friends were drag queens, and of course I got curious, and they would do my makeup, and I would try to learn, and I never did, but I picked up a few things, and I've watched a few tutorials, and uh this is what we came out with today. I'm very happy with it, except for the lashes. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna show you how I use this palette and also give you some swatches. So swatches will be first. Okay guys, so Manny has said that these swatches are not gonna be accurate and using the palette, I can testify to that. But we've got our black and our white here, our four super neutral shades two shimmers which actually do swatch gorgeous and then we've got our six colorful shades down here so this is your palette and then now tutorial time guys i'll be back at the end okay so the first thing we're gonna do is just go into cake face this plain white right here Come on camera, right there. And I'm gonna use this to set down my eyeshadow primer and get the lid ready for some color. And I left some Cody Airspun under the eyes 
just in the event that we have any fallout, it can catch all of that. Because with this many colors, you never know exactly what you're up against. So we did that. And then we're going to go into sickening right here and just lightly, like super lightly, put that into the crease just so we have a little bit of a base to work off of, but not so much that the colors won't show up like we need them to. So just taking a little bit of that and we're done with our base. So I want to do something super colorful and y'all know that honestly I kind of suck at super colorful, but we are going to try it anyways. <laughs> So, for the sake of this palette, I am not going to mess with the neutrals too much. I'm going to play with this colorful side. <clears throat> and first, I'm going to take some Campy right here. That's our yellow. And I'm going to take it on a natural bristle brush so I can pick up a boatload of pigment, hopefully, and put it in this inner corner of the crease. Okay, then I'm gonna take just a touch of Kai Kai right here, and I'm gonna bring this through this middle and out and up in the crease. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and real quick cut a crease just so that I can go ahead and do some winged liner and some shimmer shimmer on the lid and then we'll come back <laughs> to do all that. Okay, so I got that crease cut out and yes, <laughs> this is gonna be a drag-ish look. Um, I'm gonna take Beat right here which is supposed to be absolutely incredible. Everybody has said so far. So we're going to take it on a packing brush. And he says not to use it on a brush so much, but I'm going to go ahead and try it real quick just to kind of see what happens because I'm curious and lay it down. Okay, he's right. This is a finger shade. Alright, I'm going to add some winged liner real quick just to uh, amp up the dramatics and then we're going to go ahead and attack this lower lash line. Okay, so on this lower lash line it's going to be smoked out a little bit crazier than usual if you can't tell by how the rest of this look is going so far. Um, we are going to take um, Kiki on the inner corner. And that is this really pretty mint color and we are just gonna fluff this all into this inner corner and love it. <laughs> okay, so since that one is such a light wash of color, we are going to fade it into fishy, so it's just going to be on that very inner corner. And we're going to use this darker blue to put kind of in the center through here. And we're going to have to clean this up with some concealer when we get done, but that's okay. We want to be bright and colorful for the time being. So here goes this. And I'm just being really messy with this and hoping to goodness that I can fix this with concealer. If not, when I go for lunch at McDonald's in a little bit, I might be looking kind of crazy. But that's okay. Um, we're just going to fluff this through the center and get the buildup that we want in the order we want. And then create the shape. 
Then we're going to take Pageant Queen right here and we are going to put this in the outer edge of that lower lash line just right in here. Just like that. Through there. Do, 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 do. All right, so we look insane, but you have to bear with me because I think I've never tried this. <laughs> I can't even take myself serious. I've never tried this, but I think it'll work. We are going to cut a crease on the bottom. Does that make sense? So I'm going to take my concealer again with a little brush and just draw across how low I want my lower lash line to be. Just through here. And bring it up like that. And then I'm going to just drag it down. I'm actually going to take the wand itself and just put some concealer here. And we'll blend it down and cover this up and it'll be horrible to get off, but it'll be cute while it lasts. So same thing over here. Just drag across our little line, swoop it up a little, and then take the regular wand and put some concealer where we need it, <laughs> which is a lot of places right now. This was risky, you guys, and I don't know how this is going to end up, but dang it. We tried. I don't have the control and the focus to get everything where it goes the first try. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it this way. And then we're going to try to blend this out with a beauty blender and see if we can make this look like normal skin. That actually worked better than I expected it to. I'm proud. I am going to have to take a tiny bit of fishy and run it here because that got caught up in the concealer and kind of started to disappear. But let's go ahead and do this other side. Okay, so that actually worked out like pretty stinking good. So I'm going to take a little bit more of beet right here and try to focus this into the inner corner just right there and a tiny bit right in the brow bone. I don't have much room there but where I do I just want to put a little bit. <clears throat> And then, because I love Manny, I'm going to be using Eclipse. That was his first collab with Jeffree Star, his first highlighter. And I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks, because I have not highlighted yet. And just pop it right there. See if I can get this exposure to show you all just how good this is. Because it's amazing. <clears throat> I am so ready for Lunar Beauty to come out with some highlighters. That would be the bomb. Okay, so <laughs> we look crazy, but it is a drag esque look. Like, what else can you do with this palette, right? So I'm gonna get off of here, get some mascara lashes and pick out a lippy and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I finished out this look. I have also got Manny's collab with Jeffree Star Daddy on the lips. This has been one of my favorite lippies 
for a very long time. I love this color. And with such a bright eye look, I thought a kind of brownish nude lip would be perfect. And you know, Manny is daddy, let's be real. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is the Lots of Drag palette, guys. I almost didn't get it because I was like, you don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it. But it's Manny's and I had to. And I'm so glad I did because this is so pretty. These colors are so vibrant. They're so easy to work with. Honestly, they had like minimum to no fallout at all. And I used all the bright shades but one. And they worked perfect. Like I'm super impressed with the pigment payout, the blending, everything. I don't think he could have done a better job on this palette formula wise. I think the color selection is amazing. You can do anything. Literally, I've never seen a 14 shade palette this versatile before. <clears throat> And yeah, I mean the price point, it's not really that high. It seems like it is because we've all gotten so spoiled to Hush and Morphe and all those brands that don't charge us much. But when you're starting your own business and you're an influencer and I mean you kind of have to price stuff that high if you're going to make any profit at all. And I mean let's be real at the end of the day that's what you have to do to survive. So I think it's a very fair palette. I think I will reach for her often. I think I am so excited. And Manny, if you see this, I love you. You did so good. I know I don't know you, but I definitely look up to you and I admire how hard you have worked. And I think this is a great testament to that. This palette's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, I look a little crazy, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will see you again in a couple of days for a wear test. Bye, you guys.